Exactly right. You know, and if you were hoping for some cooler weather, that is in the forecast for next week. But we do have a couple of first alert weather days that we want to tell you about. So Sunday night, we've just issued that weather alert for late Sunday night, and then that continues into Monday. This is because we're tracking a cold front. It's going to bring rain and thunderstorms to the area. We could even get a couple of severe thunderstorms from that. Then on Wednesday, we're tracking another stronger front. This is when we have the really cold air arriving. Our afternoon temperatures, they're going to be in the 50s and then we're also alerting you to Thursday and Friday morning when our temperatures are going to be in the 30s and 40s. We could even see maybe our first freeze in some spots. I don't think DFW is going to quite make it to that freezing mark, but our outlying areas could definitely see those lower 30s as we head into Friday morning. So let's take a look at Sunday. This is when we're looking at some rain and thunderstorms moving in. This is first alert future cast at five o'clock on Sunday. We'll likely have some scattered showers, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder into the early evening hours. But our severe threat is going to be the closer we get to midnight when we start to see some thunderstorms developing out ahead of this cold front in our western counties. And then that's going to be with us as we're headed off to work and school on Monday morning. And that line will continue to track east as we head into Monday afternoon. So we could get some strong wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour, and we can't completely rule out an isolated quick spin up tornado along that line of some thunderstorms. But by Monday evening, things have really dried out. So as far as rainfall totals go over the next seven days, we are looking at about a half an inch up to an inch right through the Metroplex, maybe closer to a half an inch to two inches in some of our western areas where we are going to see a little bit stronger thunderstorms when they initialize. So as far as that severe threat, this is late Sunday night. We're talking around 10 p.m. to maybe midnight. And you'll notice we have that level two slight risk for our western counties. As that line continues to track eastward, we'll start to see that severe threat, including parts of I-30 corridor as we head into Monday morning and then that threat is going to clear out with the storms by the evening hours. But then I mentioned that cooler air arriving. You check this out 57 for Wednesday, 58 on Thursday, and then we are still going to see 50s and 60s as we head into next weekend. So if you are hoping for more fall like temperatures, those are on the way and we have some pretty chilly mornings as well. Thursday next Thursday, likely waking up to about 40 degrees. We are going to see that sunshine returning next week as well. But just a heads up, if you have outdoor plans on Sunday, keep a close eye on that radar because we are looking at some showers for Sunday afternoon and evening. Amelia? Fall is coming. Thanks, Brittany. And hopefully hey. you can get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather that we're looking at again today. We're basically hitting the repeat button from yesterday. So full sunshine. Highs are going to be in the lower 70s tomorrow. We are going to start to see some of those clouds moving back in as moisture starts to move up from the south. But we're alerting you to rain and storms that will be moving in late Sunday into Monday. We could get a couple of isolated severe storms at that time. Then we also want to alert you to a cold snap next week. On Wednesday, we're looking at highs in the upper 50s and some very strong northerly winds. It's going to be drastically colder out there for us. But we're going to start with the weekend. On Sunday, this is the day when we're going to wake up to cloud cover. So first alert future cast, we're starting at 6 a.m. on Sunday. Just an isolated shower or two throughout the day. Definitely not a complete washout. You may hear a rumble of thunder throughout the day, but that severe threat Daytime hours, it's going to be low because we don't have a whole lot of instability. And that instability is going to be in question even as we head into the overnight hours when we're going to be tracking a line of thunderstorms moving in from the west. But we do have enough shear in the atmosphere, which is that rotation. So that could lead to a quick spin up of a tornado along this line, as well as some damaging winds to about 60 miles an hour. So that's why the Storm Prediction Center has put out that level two slight risk for our western counties. Once again, this starts around 10 o'clock on Sunday night, so it's not during the day, and then we'll see that severe threat shifting eastward with that line as we head into Monday morning. And depending on the timing of that line, we could even see our Monday morning commute impacted by this. So we're just starting to get into the high resolution models. This is something that we'll be able to refine as we head through the weekend. But our European model is still keeping some of those showers and storms around through about mid morning right along I-35. And then we're seeing those storms clearing off to the east as we head into the evening hours. But temperatures, as I mentioned, they're going to drop off. We'll still have a nice day on Tuesday, so 70s for the next four days. And then that colder air really starts to move in Wednesday and Thursday. But right now we're sitting at 67 degrees out in Arlington, a beautiful mild afternoon with highs in the lower 70s. And that first alert seven day forecast. You can see that weather alert for Sunday night into Monday, gorgeous on Tuesday, and then you're going to want to break out some of those heavier coats for Wednesday and Thursday. It's going to turn pretty chilly.